The Arbutus community was named after the plant, the trailing Arbutus. This wildflower, also called Mayflower, has sweet scented pastel pink blooms and shiny green leaves. But the irony of the town's name is my story, ultimately bringing life to the trailing vine. You see, my arrival in Arbutus began in 1934 at Sulphur Spring Road. My storyteller, Brick Mason, screen painter grandfather Richardson, assured me that I was fresh from the wild skunk cabbages that grew in the swampy woods behind our house. These cabbage plants may have truly been the trailing vine that connected the close lives in Arbutus. My grandparents, Sanders, managed the Kate and Sand and Gravel Company on Washington Boulevard. The truck drivers, uncles and cousins, gave me rides along their route on Sulphur Spring Road or stopped at our house along the way for some of my mom's home-baked goods. The Richardson bricklayers were busy building our new home across the road on the corner of Lister and DeWitt Roads. Inconspicuously, the Arbutus Vine supervised my daily walks to school in the 1940s. Walking past family and friends' homes, the Wades, Herds, Bilgers, Kibblers, Smellians, Bartels, and our good friend the Gateman, who made sure it was safe to cross the railroad tracks and Linden Avenue at Schmidt's Grocery and Feed Store. Just a short skip past the vacant lot was Slattery's house, then Roper's, the piano teacher, on to LeCompte's, and the Atme store was the heart of Arbutus. My trail continued uphill past the C&P phone company and Mr. Ambrose Funeral Home. But the best house of all was Charge's Penny Candy Store. With its big glass front window, how convenient right next to the Arbutus Elementary School. My trail home after school was not as hurried. Time to stop in the center of Arbutus at the bridge over Herbert's Run Stream next to Sigger's Inn. The stream runs from above the firehouse and town hall area under Sulphur Spring Road on behind the Hollywood Theater, on through Halethorpe. This bridge was in clear view of my Aunt Lida Lee Comp apartment window over John's Barber Shop and Brookwood Farms Ice Cream Parlor. Surely my chances of accidentally dropping my school bag over the cement bridge would go unnoticed. Only then could I venture down the rocky banks to retrieve my precious belongings, splash in the cool, clear water, and explore under the dark, cavernous road. Then it was up the slippery bank of the stream with books in tow and home just a little late. As every kid knows, mothers have an uncanny way of knowing every step of your failed adventure. My mother always said, a little bird told me but I think our trailing Arbutus grew from the good spring water that fed all those little vocal birds. Tradition shows our children grow strong and happy in Arbutus, then choose to stay here with their children, and the vine grows on. <laughs>